that makes you feel good. Our guest tonight is the cute but capable Kavanagh, and we'll be telling you what he feels like later. But in the meantime, let's move swiftly on. It's going to be Kavanagh's bedtime soon, and I want to suck him in. There's guys that offer you diamonds and pearls. Those are the ones with nothing needs. No, no. Martin Smith. Now he sings, he dances, but his name sounds a bit like an eau de toilette. Kavanaugh, poor film, <laughs> the sweet smell of youth. Well, he's certainly young, but we'll let you know just what he smells like in a minute. So please welcome, cute as they come, it's Kavanaugh. <laughs> Oh, I could eat you on a balm cake and I wouldn't need no picky lily. Oh, come here, you've got a bit of liquor. Come here. Oh, come here. I'll wipe that away. No, then. Thank you. Kavanaugh, it's a bit of a fancy name, isn't it, for a young lad from Manchester? Well, it is. I mean, people think that it's just a posh version of Kevin. I was going to say, Kavina, Kavina. Yeah, Kevin. Well, it's not actually, no. It's, it's like you've got Prince, aren't you? Yeah. And you've got Madonna. And, you know, you just got with these one name people. So I thought I'd just try and be a bit like, you know, trendy. And... Kavanaugh, no, do I call you Cav or Kavanaugh? You can call me whatever you want. All right, baby. I can make you feel good. Babyface Cavana is the latest clean-shaven young pop puppy. Picked up and groomed by Take That Svengali Nigel Martin-Smith, Cavana impressed him with his musical talent and ability to make a nice cup of tea. I'm sorry, you did have to make tea for the table. Yeah, so that was like the preparation for it all. It was like, you know, get to know, like Rick Ashley did when he started, he like, just to get to know how the industry works. and. I used to see take that. I used to come in the office and I'd make them cups of tea. And now stuff. I've got this image, you see, of you sitting there sort of squeezing the tea bag out. Yeah, yeah. Just you wait a while, yeah. yeah. so I'll be up there. Well, it's funny because, like, the people who I didn't like, I used to spit in the tea, then give it to them. <laughs> or even gloss in it, you know, a bit of snot, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I'm not saying there was anyone out to take that, of course. No, no. I mean, we'd take that, you know. Did you have to give Gary a bit of candorel? Because he was quite well rounded. Well, at the time... <laughs> at the, yeah, at the time, he had no sugar. No sugar for gas there. Tell me, is it true? Did you used to pretend to be Jason Orange's cousin at school? Yeah, this is well embarrassing. This girl had a magazine one day and she went, she went, oh, you look a bit like him. So I went, oh, yeah, he's my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah. dreamed of saying that. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, it's because well, I'm a bit of a fibber, like, you know. So I said, oh, yeah, James, you know, he's my cousin. And then, like, two years later, I was making him a cup of tea, so... <laughs> well, we have actually got a picture of him to see if there okay. is any family resemblance. There's me. See? There's you. No, where's uh -huh. Jason? Oh, See? Well... <laughs> Separated at birth. <laughs> Separated, yeah. Well, never. he can grow a beard. I can't grow a beard yet, you see. It's... Oh, bless. <laughs> Have you got a little hairy chest I've going got on a little under that? Oh, oh, hang on. I've got Come one on, here. Give him a slow clap. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, I'll just have to get a bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh! Smooth. <laughs> hey! <Stop. laughs> now, what do you think of all this Brian Harvey business that's been going on? Very dangerous, touchy subject, you know. I mean, we're all human beings, you know, and, and people do do drugs and do drink. And I just think it was it was wrong for him to for, for him to say. But I mean, I don't know anyone who can take twelve e's in a night and still survive, you know. So I think no. he must have been telling a few fibs. Well, I think they pumped. I don't think he had twelve e's and then drove his car on, yeah. did a bit of gardening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Is that? I mean, do you think he should have been sacked? Do you think that was a bit harsh? Um, I don't know. Was he sacked? You don't know, do you? You don't really know in this business what the truth is. But, you know, to say something like that, it's, I don't think it's very clever. It's not big and it's not clever, right? <laughs> right, kids. Um, but, you know, I've had people say that they've got, like, like oh, God, I've got Harvard at the weekend. <laughs> really? Is that the new thing now? <laughs> oh, right. Got, got any Harvard. Harvest? Mad for it. Finally, as we've been saying, you did used to serve tea to take that. I did. And I want to feel like a pop star. So, darling, would you serve me a lovely cup of I would love to. Come on, Matthew. I would love to. Drink to you. Let's have a bit oh. of a pot for Matthew. <laughs> right, then. OK. Mm, so, talk me through it. All right, then. Well, obviously, you get your cup. Mm. It's got to be clean. This is before the spit goes into it. And then you get a little bit of milk. So then we put the tea in, mm. like this, you see. Now, do you like it strong or do you like it milky? I'm talking about <laughs> the tea, tea now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, strong, that's perfect. No, all right, all right. Then. You can't okay. egg sauce me. And do you, want, do you want a sugar in it or two? Uh, or, or just, none? just one. Just one, she's sweet enough. Sweet. That is marvellous. There, so you I have, have a cup of tea. Is that nice? Mmm. Warm. Wet and sweet, and the cup of tea is lovely as well. You've been Thank so much you. fun, Cav. Thank you very much, Cavanagh.